so after your uh, melting point boi boiling point uh, the trends which we have seen let us come back and re do this concept that is enthalpy fertilization so what actually is enthalpy fertilization so let's uh, take one example and then do this question now suppose i have chlorine right yes here the physical state chlorine gas now this is going to suppose if i take half mole of this i'm going to get chlorine at one mole and the amount of enthalpy or the enthalpy change here okay let me first write uh, is equal to plus 122 kilojoules per mole okay now what is enthalpy of atomization just see the enthalpy of atomization is the amount of heat just see it is the amount or the enthalpy change this is your change when one mole of the gaseous atom is obtained from its elements which are in their own physical state means according to that particular thing which are in their physical state at standard conditions once again enthalpy of atomization is the heat change and the enthalpy change when one mole of the gaseous atom is obtained from its elements yes in their physical state at standard conditions of temperature and pressure done now how why are we taking this we have studied already melting point i said what did it, what did i say higher the number of valence electrons that is the number of unpaid electrons stronger is the metallic bond formed if the metallic bond is stronger the melting point also would be stronger higher in the same way more the number of valence electrons stronger would be the metallic bond then higher would be the enthalpy of atomization because i have to break the bond then only form the individual atoms so they said transition elements when i see the series 3d series 4d and 5d there's lot of variations in that particular thing so when are we when are i'm seeing this graph what are you observing here these are the low uh, the least scandium all these in scandium element here here when i come back here you have zinc completely filled in between you have the peaks of chromium as yes, we have seen in the last graph you have also seen iron here so what are we finding in them they have number of valence electrons are unpaid electrons correct <clears throat> iron also so reason i can start writing like this first important thing number of valence electrons i'm talking about these peaks these peaks right number of valence electron is more stronger is metallic bond okay when the metallic bond is stronger higher would be i have to apply a lot of enthalpy atomization i have to break it into atoms individual atoms higher would be delta h not a standard enthalpy of atomization higher would be standard enthalpy of atomization so what what is that reason now in transition elements the middle series the midway series all have unpaid electrons correct so this unpaid electrons is making them or showing the trends in their enthalpy of atomization so you can write <coughs> the middle series of elements have more unpaid electrons hence have higher delta h not a that is your answer right so let us come back and do the next question based on enthalpy of atomization so now what did what is the concept you have to remember number of unpaid electrons or the number of valence electrons are more more would be the metallic bonding if the metallic bonding is stronger i have to use more of the melting temperature or more of the enthalpy of atomization temperature right or the heat change now the same concept i'm going to apply in these two equations and see whether it works out or not they given me why do the metals of second and the third transition series now this is your 3d series 4d and 5d series now as we've seen in the graph there's a lot of variation compared to 3d so why is the reason they asked what should you write if they ask you for one mark only important thing important concept is just finish off your answer writing in this way the whole concept is explained here in 3d or if i have to say in 4d that is your second series and 5d series what is increasing metal metal bonding is increasing isn't it metal metal bonding is increasing the metal metal bonding is in increasing 
automatically delta h naught a also increases isn't it that's it just you know hence delta h naught a increases simple your answer is done this concept this concept linked let us come back and see in the series scandium 21 and zinc 30 enthalpy you have not written completely enthalpy of atomization is lowest for zinc okay they've given the value for zinc that is 126 kilojoules that means 126 kilojoules per mole is used to convert or form one mole of zinc gaseous atom from its particular element why they're asking again i'm coming back to the same concept when i speak about scandium let us write the answer i speak about scandium 21 for zinc it is <coughs> your 30 so where is scandium lying scandium is lying here and your zinc is lying here the atomic number is 21 here zinc is 30, uh, 30 here when i have to see the compare uh, this in configuration scandium belongs to 3d series zinc also belongs to 3d series scandium configuration is 3d1 4s2 zinc configuration is 3d10 4s2 now compared to both which has unpaired electron yes this is only in scandium it has one unpaired electron in zinc completely filled now same concept come back number of unpaired electron or number of okay unpaired electron a valence electron increases delta h a or standard enthalpy also increases but in case of zinc what happened Zinc is low they said. Zinc has stable configuration. It has stable configuration. Automatically it is not going to participate or not going to form interatomic attraction or that metallic bond. Yes. So when it has stable configuration, <coughs> metal metal bonding not observed. Metal metal bonding not observed. When metal metal bonding is not observed, I very well know EOA is least. Simple. This is my reasoning. This is how you have to reason in the exam. Please observe carefully. Any doubts, please let me know.